I've been putting platform detailing in, so stick around and I'll show you exactly what I've been doing. Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now, as you can see, there's been a little bit more, I say, progress in inverted commas because I've uh, repositioned this unit here. Now, do understand it's not situated properly. The wires are still dangling over the edge, which means it's not sitting down far enough. But it's given me an idea of where we're going. Um, because obviously what I would like to try and do now is start putting in all the platform detailing before I start putting the canopies back on. Yeah, things are literally just positions. They're not glued in any way, shape or form. So my first job is to uh, make a few more of these which are the supports for the footbridge which go across each of the platforms and um, I was looking at the different sorts of steps that appear and it appears that all the platforms do have a set of steps obviously um, except platform 8-9 which has an escalator as well so I've got to have to try and work out how that's going to work. Right, welcome back. So you can see I've been insanely busy and there's more in the process as well. So you might think, well, what have I got here then? Well, obviously we've got steps coming down from the footbridge and these are going to be the side walls, if you like. So they will sit kind of like that on the sides. And I've tried to replicate the railing coming down the sides. Now, on the real thing, it does come over the edges a little bit, but I think, to be honest with you, it's going to be, it would be insanely difficult to replicate that. So I decided just to um, put it inside, and even then it was quite difficult to get these curves right at the end. So I've had to print it and then trim it back a little bit. Um, more relay boxes. Um, these two things here I haven't bought, uh, these, uh, no sorry I haven't made, I bought these. So there's some more seats, there's another seat there. Um, the reason I've got, I'm bringing that one out is because on platform one there's one of those old traditional benches and I'm never going to be able to make it. Right, so you might be looking at that thing there and thinking, what on earth is that? Well, it's one of the little trolley bays where people put their luggage trolleys. So the idea of the little model is I simply just fold it up and paint it. Well, I'm just going to take a time now and just show you some of the other things I've been up to. Right, we've got some um, these um, oil trays in front of you. I'll show you what I mean. So there's a piece of track, obviously. And there is one that I've cut out. So that will sit in there like that, okay? Now you'll notice that they're not all straight and level. So what I've tried to do is to 3D print them so that they are sort of off at a slight angle, but keeping in mind that they've got to be narrow enough to sit in the track and still allow the train wheels to go over the top without any issues at all. Now, so far that seems to be okay. It's a good distance away from the track, or from the rails, I mean. So I'm gonna start painting them up. Notice there are little bits of fleck in there and all sorts of bits. I'm really not gonna worry about that whatsoever because you can see on the photograph, there's just lots of grime and muck and debris and all sorts. Right, just got some of this Humbrol gloss varnish. So I'm just going to literally get it open. 
they've got one of these child safe locks on them and sometimes it's not always easy to get into them I'm literally just going to dab like that So some of them might get more in than others, and that's absolutely fine. Right, here we are then. This is the culmination of quite a lot of work over this past few days. So I will show you. This is in the mock-up stage of the footbridge, as you can see. And these are literally just blue tacked to the side. They're clearly nowhere close to finishing. Somebody said to me a little while ago about going slowly so you can see the details. So I will try my best. And obviously you can see it's a set of steps. And there's the escalator I was referring to. Hopefully you can make that out. Now, some of you may not have seen this section, um, but that lid or roof comes off and there is an interior in there. That is the waiting room for platform 13 and 14. I'll go around the other side and you can see it from there. So you've got all the seats for the waiting room. You've got the toilets just here. And you've got the Costa coffee just there. And that, um, that over the back there used to be a WH Smiths, I believe, or a or a news agent of some description, it's been turned into a waiting room at the moment, I believe. Actually, I forgot to point out these fences. I've only put them, the single fence um, on those ones up there. And the one for platform 12 is marginally longer because of the geometry of the track. So I've got to remake another one for that bit. But then you've got these little fences, if you can call them fences. If you like now i think they're made of glass with posts um, it's frosted glass but looking at the pictures they do tend to look a little bit more opaque so i 3d printed them right as i promised the details on platform one right so what we've got here then starting at the beginning we have got this little display thing here where people we've got information about the trains and there's also it's not come out ever so clear but there is also a platform number one just there trying to print the numbers wasn't that easy so i might have another go and see if it, they can come up a bit clearer but we'll see how that goes right on to this little service point thing here there's a number of little i think they're communications boxes there's certainly a phone on there now that is about seven millimeters tall so the, these pillars over here were insanely fiddly well this is going to a whole new level and then you've got there. a whole series of relay boxes electrical boxes and they're all painted as they should be then you've got this um display board for advertising Now that is the traditional style bench that I explained at the beginning and I've just had to substitute with something I've got. Right, next up we've got the trolley bay where people would put their luggage trolleys. Right, you can see we've got the clock there. I'll put a ruler against it so you can see it's about 16 millimetres tall. But I did that obviously by printing the actual model itself and then printing the time and the details and then just sticking them on. And now we've got another um, travel information um, screen just there. And also I think there's one of those indicators that says off. Um, below that is a wheelchair access ramp. So leaning against the post there. Now this Piccadilly does have these, um, I think they're oil trays uh, for catch, catching oil. Now, you saw me do this. I've painted them black and then sprinkled sand on the top and then daubed some gloss varnish to indicate um, either drips or fresh drips or whatever it might be. So there's the whole scene, just panning you down really slowly. Okay. 
And then, like I said, coming back round to the footbridges. Sorry about the light is being affected by the, the artificial lights. All right. Now, over the next few days, I am going to start doing some of the details on platforms or well, the other platforms. It will take a long time, particularly if um, the details on this platform are different to the ones on this. Um, if it's a case of just reprinting what's already there, then that's not going to take quite so long. But if I've got to redesign it and remodel it in, um, in the 3D modeler, then it's going to take a while. So just bear with me. And um, if it takes two weeks for the next video, it takes two weeks for the next video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. There will be two more videos appearing on your screen right now. So please do take a look at those to the very end. I hope you find those very exciting and inspiring. And I will see you again here on Piccadilly very, very soon. Bye for now.